everyone. Welcome back to your favorite Sims 4 build series, DWD and GTA. And I, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. No, it's not. But you know what? When you're here, it is. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Welcome back to DWD and GTA. I am your lovely host, April. If you're new here, DWD in GTA is a series where I take builds from the GTA 5 open world and bring them into my game. It's all going to turn into a GTA save, but I don't know how to make a save yet. So it'll just be build by build. So just bear with me. So in today's episode, we are doing a small home that I found. I think it was on Mirror Drive. Yeah, if you didn't know, the Grand Theft Auto streets, they actually have names. So I'm trying to recall the name. I think it is East Mirror Drive. I think I was going down there taking a picture of the same old yellow house that I've been taking pictures of because I love it so much, but I haven't built it yet. And then I went down the street and across from this empty, like little subdivision, there was this little house. And what I liked about it was this little, I want to say latticing, latticing. I think that's the word, latticing. And... I love a good small house. So I started taking a bunch of pictures of it and then I took it into game and yeah, did my thing. All right, so here I am just fleshing out the build right about now. Um, I had to, oops, no, uh, don't mind that build that's all the way on the side. Don't even worry about that. I don't think that one came out yet, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm starting with that little quote unquote lattice feature that I did and I'm making a plan because if you watched 8443 Bridge Street, you would know that I started using the Good Notes app by recommendation of my boyfriend. <laughs> so before I built anything, I already had it all planned out and I knew where I was going to put stuff. And this is me just laying out what I have already written down. And as far as the outside goes, there was much to be desired. Just like the, what was it? 568 Nicola Ave. Just like that home, there was a bigger backyard and I didn't bother. Now I took 568 Nicola Ave and put it somewhere else and decided to put this one down in its place. Probably because I felt like the other house didn't blend that well in this neighborhood. So I decided to do this. So I'm adding the pavement, paving, paving, some fencing, which mind you, I didn't like this fence. I felt like it was too long. It's too tall. That's it. That's it. The fence was too tall, but I had to go off and just um do what it do. And I think I replaced it and kept that one. Then I added this tiny bit of... What is this garden? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's a garden and I found some funky plants and, um, decided to recreate it with a, what's that? A fishing pole. Uh, I think it's a makeshift fishing pole and some aloe plants. I have no idea if they're debugged. They should have been though. Oh, this house is, uh, technically not a starter home, by the way, like the other one was but it is a starter home of sorts. But now that we're into decorating, let me just read off to you the notes that I took because you know, like I said, I use good notes. So this house is located in Willow Creek. It's a 20 by 15 lot, okay? It is a two bedroom, one bath. Oh yeah, those are the basics right there. It's a three bedroom, oops, wow, wow. Two bedroom, one bath, yeah. So here are the rough notes. These are just rough notes. I. Did not have an archetype like I did for 8443. No, I'm lying. I did, <laughs> but they don't have names. So this house has a rustic interior design with a modern twist. I don't know if it's rustic for real, but you know, just bear with me. I was taking notes. It is the home to a single father with a teen son. Um, Let's change that teen son to a child son. And the father's name is Paul. That is the running name. He does not exist, just like Patrice and Julius do not exist. But, you know, bear with me. The father is without a degree and bought this house as a long term starter. I'm not sure if he's going to get his degree, but I think that um, he'll work hard at the very least. 
he will work hard. The father supports his son's scout activities. This child is going to be a scout. Um, yeah, this imaginary child is going to be a scout. And the dad is all for it because maybe he used to be a scout himself. Maybe. I don't know. The father is saving money to put his son through university. So that's needless to say that this dad ain't made of money. But, you know, maybe his sister helped him with the design because this design is very cute. Don't y'all like the greens and the browns? By the way, I use the industrial kit. I love kits. Can I say that? Now, I don't care for the creative sim kits because I don't use those. But I love the build kits. Every single one of them. I hope to make a clutter kit for real. Um, the father, Paul, divorced the son's mom and the son didn't want to go to Strangerville. So he stays with his dad. So let's say that the mother of this son is in the military. Yeah, a military mama. And who knows? Maybe he got sick of being home alone all the time. Because she would be deployed. So he decided to divorce her. Yeah. And she moved to Strangerville. As far as deco go, only thing I wrote was uh, there's super basic deco, no crazy pictures and plants. And that was an absolute lie, as you'll see. And then the son helps the old lady in the greenhouse to get badges. Who's the old lady in the greenhouse? You'll find out later. Now, let me get into this um, commentary, design, whatever. So this is, I think, the second iteration of the bedroom. At first, I was trying to keep it sort of teenage, but... I threw that idea out pretty quickly and decided to make a more childlike bedroom. So this ended up being like a child's room, but this double bed, it it goes. I opt for a single bed and I wanted to actually change the color palette to feel a little bit more gender neutral. That's my thing these days, gender neutral kids bedrooms, because the thing is, I don't like when a child's bedroom has a singular theme and I have to go in and change anything. So if it's gender neutral, who cares, right? Right. I change it to a bunk bed. I find this lovely wallpaper that I like. And just from time to time, I'll go in and change some stuff about it. Mm -hmm. Adding pictures where I can. I have to keep that scout thing in there. And over time, I just add more and more stuff. Now, I'm going to double back uh, to a point that I had earlier. Um, because I'm pretty sure I skipped it when I was reading my notes, <laughs> but, um, this room is probably the most colorful room because everywhere else I wanted to keep it, uh, I want to keep it kind of rustic, but not log cabin rustic. No offense to the people that love log cabins, but I don't like the log cabin look. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shout out to y'all though. But I do like. Uh, the pine, not pine, but like, you know, the woodsy sort of look, but I had to elevate it a little bit so that I could be a little bit more comfortable with it. Yeah. And I think brown is like the main theme going around the house, except this room, even though it has little pieces of wood in it. And look at me. I actually stayed in one room and did it. That's so nice. That is so nice. But I think that this is the bulk of the child's bedroom. And this is the main room. Yeah, master bedroom, owner suite. This is the owner suite. <laughs> and oh, if I can get like a quick review of the industrial kit, I love it so much. I pretty much used it to style a good bulk of the house. Like that bed, those dressers, that carpet, that... um. What is this fan? Yeah, that fan, that's industrial too. And I think it just fits so well with like a male aesthetic, not a male aesthetic because males can, you know, of course do any style, but a more like masculine, like this guy looks like he works on like, I don't know, maybe he like fixes pallets or something. I don't know, but I just love the way this whole kit is just designed. I wish they could, I, if they could have done a whole like stuff pack, even though stuff packs are dead, if they could have done like a whole stuff pack, game pack or something with just that style, I would have loved it. I would have. Now, when it comes to design, I think I said earlier that I don't have a whole lot of pictures and I think that's on purpose. So I kept it kind of simple, but I love this house so much. I just think, I think it's a good place 
for like a single father with just a little bit of style who has a sister that um has like a designing book who knows paul i think that's his name that's his name paul right yeah i think paul could very well have a sister who's into design and helped him yeah because this place is really cute like it's small it's cramped well it's not cramped it's pretty small i can't even lie but i think it has so much personality i didn't keep those shelves by the way i think it has a lot of personality and you can kind of tell that a kid lives there too especially with me adding stuff like you know the lunchbox hanging around now for paul i think when i say this is going to be a long-term starter i think the house is going to be cheap enough for him to be able to maintain it but of course he wants more for himself and his son i think that they're probably going to stay here until they outgrow it i mean duh i think that's what you do with any place but i think they're going to stay there until you know they can outgrow it and he can afford a better place so he's probably going to be doing some things on the side on top of his job where you know i don't know I don't know what his main job is, but he's going to be doing something else aside from his job. Who knows? That might take until like the baby's a teenager. Yeah, maybe when the baby's a teenager, the dad can afford to live somewhere else. Or who knows? He might just take the equity of the house, sell the house, and yeah, move into an apartment. He could very well do that because at the moment, he doesn't have any relationship prospects. So what's the point of even leaving right now? Now I'm working on the bathroom and I start off with one kind of general idea and it changes just a little bit. Now I wrote the stuff in good notes, like I told you, but I don't always like the idea when I put it down. So this was the idea that I probably wrote down. Actually, it's a very different idea from what I wrote down. Cause now that I'm looking at it, yeah, it looks, it looks pretty different so i wrote it down but i didn't like it so i decided to move some things around and i always have a washer and dryer in my homes no I, i'm lying i don't always have a washer and dryer in my homes but i like to add them where i think that i can and in that house the only place that i could see it making sense was the bathroom because at the end of the uh, hallway i have no space and who puts, you know, a washer and dryer in the bedroom? I didn't want to just leave it out. So I put the washer and dryer in the bathroom, which I think is okay. In tiny houses, I've seen that people have their washer in their bathroom. So I think it's going to be okay. Yeah, it should be okay. You know, now that I'm looking at it, since I have the tool mod, I think what I'm going to do is fix up the neighborhood just a little bit. Anyways, I went back to the kitchen to fix these shelves things, shelf things. I don't know if I kept it. See, I took them away because I got tired of them. I ain't like the way it looked, but I think that's the end of the kitchen. Most of what I added beyond that point is little stuff, but we're going to say this dad cooks with his son. So he has stuff just laying around and he actually uses that stuff. I think I'm near the end. Most of what I'm doing is just, you know, fixtures little details and stuff like that anyways i went back to the bathroom right and i did not care for the look that i had so i decided to go around rearranging some things like i liked all the stuff that was there i just didn't like the arrangement yeah i felt like the arrangement wasn't doing it for me and i felt like something was wrong with it so i moved the washer and dryer to the other side I thought I could add a laundry basket, but I think I ended up taking that away and moving it elsewhere. Yeah, I moved it into the room and I put a shelf on top of the washer and dryer. I added a shelf on top because it'd be a great place to put in laundry accessories, bath accessories, and anything you would need in the bathroom. So it's like storage because I don't have much storage. Like this sink, I think it's called the raw something raw modular something like that it doesn't have any space at the bottom for me to add anything so i decided to go off and do that i added some towels and i think that was it i wasn't satisfied with the bedroom so i had to change the colors around something about it felt a little too dark so yeah i was moving stuff around in there if there's any future for this father-son duo i am not sure what it is right about now 
He's just a hard working man. A very hard working man. That's about it. <laughs> I'll tell you what though. I think if he ever brings a date to the house, I think that the date will love the house. Just how everything is put together. It's real nice. I feel like he's like a, what do you call it? Cause there's blue collar and then there's white collar. I think white collar is meant to be like people in wall street or people with like professional financial jobs, stuff like that. I think blue collar is like, oh, like, like mechanics, right? Yeah. I think he's like a blue collar man with some money saved on the side. He has rough hands cause he works with his hands a lot, but his sister who is, you know, doesn't exist yet. His sister who doesn't exist yet <laughs> helped him craft this place. Yeah. Am I finally going to finish the bathroom? I think I'm going to finish the bathroom finally, which is the last part of the house, I think. Yeah, it's the last part of the house. So on the other side, I decided to put a shelf right next to the toilet for more storage. You know, it was initially going to be a water closet, but I felt like it was just too tight of a space and it needed to feel more open. So that's what I did. But now that I'm thinking about it, I probably could have just closed it off and make it a water closet and it wouldn't have felt as tight as I thought it would be. Did I change it? Did I change it back? <laughs> I changed it back. I completely forgot. Anyways, so I added a painting off to the side. And honestly, I think that's it. I think I'm done. Yeah, I think I'm done. So don't mind that name right there. It's actually eight four four five bridge street there you go it's eight four four five bridge street um once again is a 20 by 15 lot i do not remember how much it costs i am so sorry and i didn't write a description at this point but it's gonna say something to the effect of home for a father and child son it's got a masculine feel and yeah <laughs> i hope you like these pictures that i put up i really like how this house came out and I hope that you enjoy it. So thank you so much for listening to me ramble like you always do. And I will see you next week for another edition of DWD in GTA. Thank you so much for coming. Bye-bye.